Chapter 8.2 Cartesian Scalar Equations of Line in R2. So Cartesian equations are also called scalar equations. They are like a standard form equation ax plus by plus c equals to zero. Right? Now we already have learned about our vector equations and the parametric equation. I put all the equations right on the top so that you have a good look at it and uh, viewing them all the time you can remember these equations correct here is example one for us cartesian equation of a line in vector and parametric form so we'll try to convert that into these forms so let's find relation between them determine equivalent vector and parametric equations of the line 3x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0 so this Cartesian equation is the same as the standard equation which you did in algebra, right? Now to write vector form from here, it will be good if we convert this to slope and intercept form. So once we get the slope, we can find our direction vector and a point and then get the equation of in the vector form, right? So let's do that part first. So 4y equals to so in this equation, we'll take 3x on the other side, 12 on the other side, and write it in y equals to mx plus b form. So we can write 4y is equals to minus 3x plus 12, correct? And if we divide by 4, we get y equals to minus 3 over 4x plus 3, right? So that gives the equation is in slope intercept form and the slope here is equals to minus 3 over 4 and the y intercept is so we get a point here right which is if I put x as 0 y is 3 that's the y intercept correct now we will use this slope and this y intercept to write our equation in the vector form so vector form equation is right here where r0 is a point on the line so in our case, the point on the line is 0, 3. And here's a sketch of this line, right? So 0, 3 is this y-intercept. And t times direction vector. So what is direction vector? As you learned in section 8.1, direction vector, we can see from the, the slope, the change in y over change in x. So direction vector we have is equal to change in x is 4 and minus 3. So that's our direction vector and the point which we will take here is the y-intercept, right? y-intercept which is 0, 3. And now we can write the equation of this line. Let's say the line is L1. We say L1 line equation is R equals to the point 0, 3 plus t times 4 minus 3. So that becomes our equation in vector form. If we need to write this equation in parametric form, then we basically split it into two parts. R is like x and y, right? This is like any general point x and y, correct? Now we can always split this x and y and then we can write it as x is equal to, here we get 0 plus t4 so we can just write equals to 4t and y is equals to 3 minus 3t right so that becomes our equation in the parametric form correct so you can see how we can change or we can find vector and parametric equations from the given cartesian equation